Hi, it's me, Pete. As you can hear, I'm using my real voice now. Um, this might be a little bit of a surprise because um, I wasn't uh, uh, myself planning to do this, but uh, many of you complained in the last videos that my uh, subtitles in the video ruined uh, the quality. And so therefore, uh, I decided to to talk with my real voice. Um, I didn't do this in the first place because I am not speaking English as my first language and uh, it is not perfect and uh, I probably, as you can hear, have a quite strong accent. So, um, many of you may uh, not be able to understand and therefore I decided to use uh, subtitles so you can turn subtitles on if you don't understand and if you absolutely can't stand my voice or my accent you can you, you can mute the video and uh, turn on the subtitles and you still know what is going on on the video even though I am quiet um, I'm gonna be using my voice for all the future videos um, so uh, I won't make the same mistake again what is an AdBlue and how does this miracle work? So, AdBlue is a 32.5% uh, solution of urea in deionized water. Um, uh, this number, this percentage, is actually a standardized number. Uh, all the urea or all the AdBlue that is uh, salt is at this percentage because uh, I've looked up a few MSDS charts and all of them said it was 32.5% so it is uh, engineered to work in this concentration um, also it is quite pure it is the only uh, ingredient uh, it has to be chemically pure because it is uh, sprayed into the exhaust and any contamination could cause uh, side reactions and uh, could ruin the system so it is a quite pure source of urea now how does AdBlue work as you know or as you may know uh, diesel engines operate at quite high temperatures and the pressures and therefore the air that is intaken to be combusted uh, gets really hot and uh, pressurized and that causes uh, nitrogen and oxygen from the air to split the diatoms of N2 and O2 get split apart and then reform as nitrogen oxides um, mainly nitrogen monoxide and nitrogen dioxide and these uh, two gases are actually a po actually pollutants because they cause acid rains and um, therefore we want to eliminate uh, this sort of environmental hazard and uh, that's what uh, AdBlue was developed for and um, how does the reaction between oxides, between those two oxides and uh, the urea work? So at first the urea and water get sprayed into the hot exhaust which decomposes the urea into ammonia and CO2 or uh, carbon dioxide. Then the ammonia comes and reacts with the nitrogen oxide to generate um, nitrogen and water so um, 
and nitrogen is again uh, is inert so we can let it out and the water is basically just steam so it doesn't harm anything there is more co2 though but it isn't uh, as bad as the nox would be i did some calculations and uh, i'll be using 300 milliliters of the red blue um which strangely enough already smells like ammonia which means it's decomposing uh and so i i've already got my uh hot plate on and let's see what can it obtain So we've come to the end point, um, the beaker has started emitting a lot of ammonia um, and I measured the temperature because I was quite concerned and uh, it's about 140 degrees centigrade so it's quite high um, and I'll, I'll let it sit and it might crystallize or form a solid cake. Um, this, this took about three hours in total so let's let's observe I thought about uh, doing a vacuum filtration but as you can see this is now a solid chunk of urea so I am unable to even break it up uh, not talking about vacuum filtrations um, I'll break it up it will just take me a long time and uh, I won't bother filming it so I hope you won't miss this part uh, yeah. I'll see you when I have this broken apart. Done. So, uh, what I've realized is that this might actually be anhydrous urea because I heated it to such a high temperature and it wouldn't uh, go up to such a high temperature if there was any water it would stay at 100 degrees so this must be anhydrous urea and um, therefore when I was chiseling it all the, all the chiseled out product I hit inside of this beaker that I covered with food wrap so it doesn't absorb moisture and um, I'm going to store it as is because uh, I am not concerned about the purity it is quite pure because the MSDS said it is only urea and water and I believe uh, they have to use quite a pure uh, urea for engines because it would mess up the exhaust system so I'm going to hide this and uh, store it um, I just uh, weighed the yield and it came up to 97.44 grams out of 97.5 which is surprisingly high 
even though this procedure was pretty uh, straightforward but I mean that's what 99% yield that's like um, 600 uh, short of 100% yield so this probably is a lie because I used this approximate uh, volume on the beaker so I could have uh, measured like 310 milliliters but still um, I have like the full yield I want it so um, I can I have plenty of urea for my experiments and uh, I can use it as a last word I wanted to say thank you for watching if you are watching still I appreciate you um, I'll be making more videos uh, I don't know if I'll have time though but I have some uh, recorded so I'll edit them and uh, put them out and uh, I wish you have a nice day bye